have a boyfriend. I've got three boy, four boyfriends, four boyfriends, and a girlfriend. And do they know about each other? They. Hi. I'm not. <laughs> so sorry. I have clout. <laughs> I need to keep them updated, and that's what I was just doing right now. Get a refill. I was just <laughs> Welcome back to Rato's YouTube channel. Hi guys. It's not How his, it's ours. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Rato. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I've got two lovely guests here today. <laughs> Please, they're going to introduce themselves. Guys, I'm Mobile. Hi, and this is Sadi Swa. But you can call me Sadi. Okay, so I just wanted to get. Mobile's wilding out. Yes. Yeah, but I'm wilding out. This is Mobile, and she's wilding out. Guys, hi. I am a person. Who identifies as a pansexual polyamorous? I just got a headache. <laughs> yes, it's it's a lot. So pansexual, pansexual being <laughs> Chinese. Pansexual being somebody who is basically attracted to everything and everyone because dog, cat. Oh my god! Do you really want them to come for you? <laughs> They're gonna come. I for support you. the LGBTQ. I love you. I have gay friends. <laughs> But basically guys, um, and basically yeah, I, I'm new to this polyamory thing and um, it's really beautiful. Polyamory meaning I have a lot of boyfriends and like one girlfriend. Because you sound like a I, player. Yeah, because no, but his thing, everyone knows and everyone is cool with it. So it's like an open relationship, but like broader because my partners have partners and their partners have partners. So intersections. Basically, cool. mm, got it. Yeah, go on. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so, can you tell me what the difference is between swingers, polyamorous, and, and hoes, <laughs> cheating ass hoes, <laughs> fuck, girls, will. fuck boys, fuck boys, open relationship? I will. Guys, humans have a problem of like sexualizing everything. You know, I was first bisexual before I was pansexual, and it was like, oh, you guys just want to rub clips. No, it's not about that. Yeah, I was attracted to the energy that was. <laughs> no, no, but yeah. No, it was about the energy. I mean, guys, I'm not gonna just like sleep with you just because you look hot. You have to intrigue me. No, 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 no. You have to intrigue me mentally as well. Maybe the, the, the stuff you're saying also attracts me. So that is why I feel like I can, you know, pop this person. So if you are not somebody who is intellectually stimulating, then the difference is that it's not about sex. It's about um. Loving freely without boundaries, okay. without limits, okay. and consciously managing jealousy. I feel like that's the biggest one. Monogamy is amazing, but how would you it, know? I've been a monogamous, but it was I cheated. I got cheated on, and I've cheated on. You know, <laughs> so he doesn't know, he doesn't know though. Uh, but it's yeah. it's it's for people who oh, just breaking now. news on my channel. <laughs> It's for people who don't actually like. It's for people who want to be hoes. No, 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 no. It's for people who find themselves being attracted to someone else, even though they're in a relationship. And that doesn't mean you're a hoe. That just means you are being naturally. So people who wanna else. have their cake and eat it too. Basically. Basically. Oh, Sandiswa, please give us your view on polyamory. Hi, I'm Sandiswa Eland, and I'm a straight. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> I'm a straight female, and I. I believe in monogamy, I believe in two people being in relationships and I don't feel like we should add more people into our relationship I feel like, imagine if my man dating someone else, like there's a name for that, it's called being a side chick and having a side nigga I mean there's a name for it, so why are we wrapping it up in a cute little box and calling it poly, you know Because people in monogamous relationships are aware that their other halves have side chicks or side niggas and some people just roll with it. But so is that Polly? But then it's not monogamy if they, if they, they don't. know. So they don't know that they're not in a monogamous relationship anymore, that they're actually Polly now. Well, it's not Polly then. What? It's cheating. It's cheating. But because then you know, Polly and like, Yeah, you know that she's cheating. Mm. So if you decide to stay with a cheating person knowing that they have a side chick, you, what, what is that called? Is there a name for that yet? Not that I would relate. I don't know. It's called stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody <laughs> cheat on me. I can't talk about this. Not that you know of. Nobody really? asked me. This is my big sister, unfortunately. Yo. She asked me, like, why wouldn't you be in a party relationship? Why wouldn't you like it? And I was like, yeah. personally, I feel like I'm a handful. Nigga, you need both hands. 
you cannot think you can be entertaining another girl and think you can have me because not that I'm like an attention whore and I need all your attention but like you need to be mine and I need your focus to be here chew that song cute focus on me and I'm like yeah, personally <laughs> I can't entertain other niggas while I'm with someone because I'm just a monogamous person actually because I can't make you feel loved and give you validation and attention everything you seek in a relationship I can't be giving this person that and that person this and this person that because when I feel like I have someone I give my all I, I can't even entertain and I, I can't even giggle with another nigga if I'm if I'm in a relationship so I don't think I'm built for that and for my person to feel like if they want to be poly I'd be like that's not for me I'll send you off on your merry way good luck on that because I feel like I need that reciprocated I need that energy I put in reciprocated and I know one person can't give you everything you need and that's one thing poly people love to go on they're like want to expect everything you want and everything you need to come from one person is unfair and they can't do that for you and like your expectations are not going to be met so that's why you just like spread it around and you get this from that person that from this person and this from that person she's all about managing your jealousy how about we manage our expectations okay that's that's a good point what are you saying about though um well i'm the writer hi how are you uh I think I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> There's some evidence to support that statement. We have a spouse. I'm welcome to this. <laughs> like for me, relationships are not about sex. It's about hanging out and getting to know each other and getting deep and cuddles and are occasionally you? we fuck. There's relationships. I mean, where yeah, all, I was like, there's relationships where it's not a bastard, but it's not. Rather, it's not all about. I've had relationships where it's you about. know flip flop. Have you ran in flip flops? <laughs> There's relationships where it was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that was happening. You were running in flip flops. That's the sound of my relationship. Wow. But and it didn't last. I mean, not because of the sex. Of the sex. sex is not everything. Kids. I mean, I haven't gone any But it's not nothing. So, what's your take on polyamory? I think because I heard the word mean, from you. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anyone. <laughs> but you were. I you know what I Because you did say we just we discussed this in the. I was past. thinking so about it. You said that you did, and then they didn't. We the about other me. Person didn't, and then, then they the got other food. person didn't want it. Okay, which is like the like the main key of polyamory that everybody. Everyone must agree. Everybody. Imagine Pan and Polly. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Nobody's just using buzzwords. Honestly, tell us why is it official Pan? Pan means a chapter to energy. Cat anyway, and next. No, Abo, human so energy. So it's a goat at the so energy. So it's bad. Human goat. energy. So it's, it's bad. Guys, are you guys disputing Pan because they will come for you now? <laughs> what are you telling? Are you yeah. telling Pan that they take to Educate some masses. I'm going to educate your masses. It means that I am a chapter to men, women, transgenders, gays, bi's, lesbians, anything. Is what it means to be bad, pansexual, mm -mm. anyone because of the fact that we believe in being attracted to energy rather than the shell that is the flesh and the body. Okay, so please now back to me. Yes, I think that I could try it. I haven't had anybody who was like, Oh, yes, there's new people who will be like, Yeah, I would be open to that, and then you know, they get a piece of me and they're like, Actually, I can't share you because. I was like, okay, fine, I don't know, okay, but me, I'm, on, I'm still on the steez whether you know it or not. <laughs> whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. it. <laughs> but like, I'm open to the idea only if when we do the things, we, you know, use protection. Because that's the only thing that I have against like polyamory is that if it's going to be an you, episode of intersection. Exactly. Otherwise, it's cool, but I'm not going to expect you to. To drop everything from me. There's times I'm like, yes. So would you nice. want it to be like, even if it started out as a poly relationship, ends up monogamous? It depends on the person. Like honestly, poly, like you must speak to your partner. That's the thing. You must just speak to your partner. Mm -hmm. But if you do go for poly, maybe you end up with an open relationship where you're like, okay, we are most compatible together. But occasionally we like to have a visitor into the relationship, and that's cool. But like I've watched, I watched the video. She sent me and it was <laughs> good. And then I was recommended another video. Link it in the description. YouTube below. was like, well, since you're here, <laughs> since anyway. you're the <laughs> uh, And I'm like, yeah, I, I think I could do this. But it also seems like something for like people who have money. Because <laughs> how you no, buy two bays, like two or three bays, a birthday gift. And then, like, 
you know how you must go out every month, you know, you know like that thing you do. Now you're gonna go out thrice a month or Imagine. twice a month. Or oh, maybe you got maybe yeah, but if you go out as the three of you, you save money actually. But then is that Polly? <laughs> yeah, Polly saves money. That is actually Polly is about no, 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 because there is something called a throuple or a four quadruple or a whatever where it's literally three people in a relationship, just the three of them in a relationship. It's not um, polygamy. It's not someone has a wife and then there's a girlfriend. Oh, where yeah, it's yeah. like they're literally in a relationship. That I could see saving money, but being Polly. Means I'm dating this person, I'm dating you, but it doesn't mean you guys are dating each other. It doesn't it could. But it can. It could. But doesn't that turn into another name? Doesn't that turn no, into a it's still a problem. No, it's polarity because we, can, we, we both because dating one person. Yeah. That's it can good. happen. Let's go to me. I have a boyfriend. I've got three boy four boyfriends. Four boyfriends. <laughs> and a girlfriend. And do they know about each other? They know that I have other people. But so it's not a situation. No, they have no kids. You should. It's a situation, you have a situation and I want to have them when they meet. Yes, there's two of them. And then two of fall in love and run off. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That's okay because hashtag people are meant to be experienced, not possessed. I have two people who I'm dating, and I really think that they would hit it off. And I literally spoke to the, my, my girlfriend. I was like, you should meet them. And she was like, I, I don't know if I'll like him more than I like you, but no. So what? We should do it. And I really feel like they should meet because I feel like they would hit it off. And that would be even beautiful because if she loves me, then there's something that she's gonna love from him because I love him and I love her and I love him. Do you and he loves me. So like, it's a thing where- My man, it's your man. It's your man, it's your man. You know what I'm saying? It's just a thing on this. You know what I'm saying? I have another friend who's like, no, you you are doing this because you be, you, you've lost belief in love and everything because I was in the whole dream I've of monogamy been in love, so and everything. I you see, I'm as someone who's been in love, I can tell you I cannot like my attention is on you and nothing. Like I one there was a point in my relationship where I had a really hot guy like staying like a few houses down from me and I wanted to entertain this nigga so bad. And I couldn't. I just couldn't. So as a person I am, I feel like I am an alchemist. And we're allowed to be. You are allowed to be, and it's okay. But I just feel like because I've been talking about that. Only be no, no, no. To yourself. No, no. Let me let me just tell you one thing. Shut <laughs> up. Actually, yes, yeah. Actually, you don't owe anybody else. You know, uh, number one, you, you don't owe anybody you don't. cheating. What <laughs> like, is this? No, number one, number one. What I want to tell you is that I've been in your shoes where I was also monogamous and I could have never cheated on my ex, and I never did. The one that broke my heart. But right now we are dating again. Dating again, I have grown and evolved, and it does happen to adapt. Not just not that because I'm more mature than you guys, but I've just adapted, adapted to my circumstances. Not all of us are given the same Do circumstances. You feel like you we have, have a cousin who had broken virginity with one guy. He heard her. Soon after, she met someone else, and now they've been together for three years. Oops, that doesn't right. happen. No. <laughs> we'll get into but that. Where do you we'll find the time to date? Yes. I have a lot of time. Because even dating one person, a, I can't find the time. Right? Mm. Imagine five. Mm. I, I can't find the money, the time. Where do you find the time? I, can't, I, don't I, have, have, a, I, have, I have I have a lot of time, and when it comes to money, I have a job, but I also have one arm. <laughs> but I have you a job. You have a job? What you do? I have a job, I work, I'm not gonna tag them because they might just <laughs> They might jump to your job. <laughs> 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 I cannot mention that word, no fine. <laughs> my, my, I have another source of income besides my mom. Wow. I, of income. <laughs> Don't even try. Her favorite source Don't. of income, by the way. <laughs> Never fail. Don't be <laughs> 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 The job is part time. <laughs> Your daughter is a full time job. Your daughter is a full time job. And uh, the, the, the money's good. The money's okay. So. <laughs> I'm it's not bad. Get not medical bad. aid. Get <laughs> stamps. Get shelter. No, it's okay. Oh, my knees are knit. But thirdly, one of my partners or boyfriends 
or is somebody who is very rich and gives me money. So typically, guys, obvious. Nikwe eh? He's Nigerian. <laughs> okay, guys, first of all, is that word offensive? Because yes. it is. Please comment down below if that word is. <laughs> but basically, he's from Cameroon, Nigeria, basically. Yeah. Cameroon, Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Cameroon. You get the joke. <laughs> no problem. What are they doing? And he's very rich, and that's, I feel like that's another video is for a whole other day. But he is very rich, yes. That's why you called an in driver instead of an Uber. Um, he's cheap. But he's rich. So he supplies me a lot of money. So I'll take his money. Oh my god, I hope you're not watching this, baby. But I'll take your money and I'll go spend it with my other boyfriend. And he is the only one who actually doesn't know that I'm in a polyamorous relationship. So but, you're cheating on him. But no, no, the thing is, he is married. Yo. But that's a video for another day. So basically, sure. I money wise, I feel that no. You can God, afford to date. I can afford to date. Also, time wise, <laughs> I, mean, I have a job. I have my mom. I have my sugar daddy. Time wise, I have a lot of time in my hands, and I have a lot of like attention to give. So um, yeah, that for me always works out. I literally okay. hear my phone go beep beep message, and I'm like, what do you want? Who are you? I get excited. I'm like, oh, who's this? Oh, which boyfriend texted me? Like, I get really excited. So yeah. why have you learned today? I learned that my sister's a psycho. Oh my god, they're gonna come for you. No, no. <laughs> I'm ready oh, because it's calling. Sexual oh, polyamorous psychos. Talk about her. Talk about other. This is no, y'all cool. Y'all cool. Not her. Oh, wow, guys. I'm doing the same thing. So, what's going on? No, but your intentions. There's a lot. What are my intentions? Tomorrow. My... No. You guys, is that what you're taking? The... Are you guys taking this? Who, which oh, one of your, your five do you love? I love all of them. How? Okay, no. There's one that I don't have. <laughs> There's one that I don't love, but I like him. The money one. I like him. I don't know. You like him. his money. I like his money. That's the I one love the money, not I the love other his four. Money. No, 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 because he's married. So and I don't have to know about his wife either. Oh, so you can know. What do you do? He wears a ring, but I didn't tell, he didn't tell me he's married. So, yeah. It's a very... You take off it's an open marriage. relationship. What do you mean? He, he, he fucks me with the ring. Oh. The people that I date, they make me feel some type of way. And I... I want to take them on dates. I want to hold their hands. I want to kiss them. I want to love them. A lot of them are, are, are heartbroken, damaged. I want to heal them emotionally, show them the love that they need, make love to them. I want to enjoy and experience them, and at the same time, live my life where they with an open palm, where they can come and go as they please, and never feel caged or obligated to stick with me. That's what I believe. We are temporary humans having a temporary human experience. And I want to live my relationship life that way. Yes, I've been hurt, but I've realized that if I need to stop getting hurt, this is the best option that suits me. So, like, um, yeah, both sides of the picture, and I'm like literally in the middle in the sense that I don't know. Like, it depends on the relationship. Sometimes I'm like, with you, I want polyamory. It depends on the person. With with the other person, I'm like, hey, when I just I don't want to share you, and maybe. You know, it's like high. It's uh, your energy with the person, like energy getting from them. Like, yeah, this is a, this is monogamy energy, or this is, you know. That's true. Uh, I don't Let know. the energy guide you. I don't know. All I know is, yeah. Currently, monogamy is not in in the cards. And mm, really. It, maybe I wish it was. But it's another video. Yeah. <laughs> but do what works for you. Do what works for you is basically what we're all learning today on this video. Do and we don't judge each other, despite everything you've heard and seen today. You don't judge. Yes. Ah. <laughs> you don't judge, no. Like, and yeah, for me, I would feel like just if we're hanging out and we're getting to know each other, maybe that's the time for polyamory. But if we're being serious, let's be serious. Now, let's not all play poppies. <laughs> but anyway. But yeah. But I feel like when it comes to marriage, I may not, I may desire a monogamous if marriage, marry but I still think I'll have the open door policy. If you want to marry me in that ring box, your pay slip must be there. No, I can't broke singles. I can be broke single. Right. Why would I be broke with you? Right? Anyways, that must be broke with my ship. That's all for today. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. Um, catch up. We have so many. We have so much shit to talk about. Yes. So and if we'll you have questions, it. please ask. I'll make sure I'll make the answers. Uh, uh, all your questions. I will. Do you need it, us? <laughs> right. We'll be sure to respond. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, this was so much fun. I hope you guys learned something. I hope we got you guys talking. I hope you guys paused the video and was like, oh my god, like what I will. Uh, you know. Yeah. 
and had you thinking about your own relationships and where you guys are heading at in life. And make your partners watch this. <laughs> yep, imagine. My partner sent me this. I'm like, babe, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> just introduce the yeah. conversation. Send it to them casually. Like, this is this is interesting. Yeah. Just like just just you know. Because Share you, with know, your friends. you don't know what you're missing. Because like maybe you need a third person to spice engage. things up. I'm, I'm that bitch who will spice things up. Never <laughs> <Let me> know. <laughs> then she leaves so, your yeah. <laughs> And has some, has some sex 